Hey everyone, it's Chantel and I'm going to participate in the weight loss tag. Um, I was asked to do this so uh, in, by Transforming Melody. So um, check out her channel too. She did one as well. Um, it was very entertaining and I kind of like learning about <clears throat> other people and it gets to know a little bit more about you. So um, for those of you who are interested, who do follow me, here's a chance to learn a little bit about me. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, and comment below if there's anything you want to hear more about my journey. I'm going to touch on some stuff, but if there's some other things you want to learn or hear about my story, I've been through quite a lot in my life, and I can go into those a little bit further if you want. If not, um, just listen here and see if there's anything interesting for you. So, the first question, when did you start gaining weight? That's really a tricky question for me. Um, the first time uh, I really noticed I was gaining weight or something, it was really about third grade, but it wasn't heavy. It was because my mom kept telling me, like, I'm worried you're going to gain weight because she was a little bit chubby when she was younger and she didn't want me to go through that. So I didn't have an eating disorder or a problem she kind of created one in my mind. So I didn't really have any issues. Um, I really did, wasn't heavy till about junior high is when I noticed I was bigger, but I wasn't ever much bigger. I was just like 15 pounds heavier than the other girls. And half of it is I just had a lot of muscle tone and we didn't know at the time I was sick. So I was just swollen. And also we didn't know that I had hypoglycemia. So I was just really swollen all the time. I didn't look fat. I just looked swollen. You know, you just, I didn't look healthy, if that makes sense. So I, I didn't ever really look bad. It was very athletic. I was very outgoing. Um, but I had a lot of trouble. <clears throat> then I really noticed my weight in junior high. And that's when I really started getting strict with myself. Um, what was your heaviest weight? Right after I had to be on prednisone, after my first episode of internal bleeding, <clears throat> I was, gosh, how old was I? Maybe 21, I think. And it's ridiculous to believe this. I was always about 170, 180, and then I blew up to 220 pounds. And that's the highest I've ever been, and I never, ever, ever want to be that weight again. Um, what diets have you been on? I've pretty much done a little bit of everything I've done. I grew up when I was younger. Um, my mom started me on Weight Watchers when I was in third grade, I think. Um, we started doing it as a family, and I started to learn about calories and watching my calories, which is horrible. Do not let your kids do this. This was, I mean, my mom weighed me sometimes like weekly, monthly. I mean, it was bad. It was really, really bad. So that's why I cannot calorie count still to this day. I'm just not healed quite yet from that experience. It's something I'm working on, but I haven't overcome it yet. But we went from Weight Watchers to Atkins to the South Beach diet. <clears throat> um, this is all through junior high. I trans went through all these things. Then I went into kind of, I didn't like having to monitor myself all the time. So I kind of would like to like binge and starvation. I just, I wouldn't eat breakfast. I refused to eat it. Part of it was the hypoglycemia. Anything I had sugary or cereal, I would just get sick or fall asleep in class. Like it was bad. And um, for lunch, I either ate horribly. I would do like the the lean pockets that my mom would get or hot pockets at school Ugh, just makes me sick. Sometimes I would just get like a snack out of the vending machine because I try and eat really low calorie. And then when I tried to eat healthier and restrict calories, um, and this is when I was in volleyball, basketball, track, show choir, jazz choir, jazz band, like I was active and I did not eat. Oh God, it's just disgusting now. But I would only allow myself to eat a low-fat um, Yo Play yogurt, and I'd have between one and two clementines, and that's all I would eat for lunch. And then I wouldn't eat 
anything until dinner time. And then sometimes I ate, sometimes I didn't. I tried to just stick towards eating lettuce and bread because I knew they were lighter on the calories usually. And I just didn't eat very much protein or I wouldn't eat it. And um, then we always had treats in the house. So we did have a lot of ice cream and things like that. And I ate more of it, obviously, because I was never feeding myself. And so I ate more at night. Um, so that was that. And then as I got older, it was a lot of binge and starve, binge and starve. I would try and not eat like all day long and then starve and have to eat. And that's mostly what I've been on. I've tried a little bit of everything, vegan, vegetarian. I tried the Nutra system for a while. Um, <coughs> I mean, I've pretty much tried a little bit of everything, all the fad diets, everything. I've tried it going gluten-free, all that. None of it really made a difference for me ever. Um, what is your goal size or weight? I think it's just being healthy. Mine doesn't really revolve around a size or a weight. I just want to be healthy and I want to look, be able to look at my body and say, I like that. I like the way I look. That's how I want to feel. Um, what is your favorite food? I love Indian food. Indian, Indian, Indian. Oh, it's so good. I could eat it all the time. I love curry. Um, some of my past favorite foods were pretty much ice cream and pizza. I've tried to learn to do other things and I don't like them as much anymore. But if I crave something, that's typically it. And then sometimes fries. Um, what food will you never give up? I think all of them. I never want to feel like I'm giving up anything. It's it's all open to me. I just have choices to make. That's all life is, is a series of choices. And you can make better ones or worse ones. So I'm not giving up anything. I don't feel like I am giving up anything. I can eat whatever I want. I just make good, better choices. Um, how do you reward yourself? I think that's a little bit of a mixture of everything. Sometimes it's food um, because I think I need that in the week. I want something really rewarding. I had a really good, you know, week and I want something that's really tasty. Doesn't mean it's going to be something unhealthy. It just means sometimes I want to reward myself with maybe like, you know, filet mignon. I wouldn't normally go buy that, but that's a good reward and it's healthy and it's within my diet and I'm okay with that. So I might do something like that. Um, doing things to upgrade myself to feel better. Gym memberships. Uh, volleyball, volleyball tournaments, my hair, my makeup, my eyes, whatever I want. Um, I kind of just do little rewards. I've always been good about that. So that's no problem for me. Um, what will you do at your goal weight? Honestly, that's what I'm super stoked about because Eventually, I, I'm a gym rat. Like, I actually enjoy going to the gym. I'm one of those weird people who just, I'm always active. I am an active person. I am an athlete through and through. All my family members are. I've grown up that way. You know, for me, you ask me what I want to do when I want to go play basketball, tennis, you know, ping pong. I like to, like, I'm very competitive. So I want to go play some kind of game and I want to win. That's my goal. <laughs> so I love just being more active, getting to do more of what I want to do. That's really it. Um, what diets are you following now? I don't really want to call it a diet or something that I'm following. I hate giving things names, but pretty much I am on the keto diet. That's pretty much what I follow. It's not strict. I eat whatever I feel like eating. I don't feel like I have to eat that way all the time or that I have to give up carbs but it's more keto. I'm doing vegetables, meats, and fats. Um, I'll add some squash in there. I'll add some berries. And sometimes I don't eat on the plan. Sometimes I'll have a cookie or a piece of cake. But mostly what I'm eating is low carbs with my health and everything. I just feel better not to eat it. I like eating this way. So I do it. Um, favorite body part? Uh, I don't know. Um, I do like my eyes and I like the fact that I'm strong. I guess I would say that I'm very muscular I don't always like how that looks on me because it makes me look bigger, but I'm very strong. I'm usually one of the strongest girls, like 
Whenever I'm playing a sport, I'm usually one of the strongest girls, if not the strongest. And I like the fact that I'm not weak and fragile. I'm just very outgoing. And my husband likes that too. Uh, what makes weight loss hard for you? That's actually a really good question. Um, I think what makes it harder on me is my health. The fact that I struggle so much with, you know, my internal bleeding and there's just stuff that goes wrong with me that sometimes I just don't have the energy to be able to cook and to do the things that I want to do to be healthier. That's what really, I think, gets me down because I'm very athletic and I love playing my sports, but when I'm sick or when I'm in the hospital, I can't play them. So I'm constantly having to restart. I think that's my hardest thing to get around is that I want to do more, but I can't do that. Um, would you ever do weight loss surgery? Absolutely not, unless it was medically necessary. If I really had an issue and it needed to come to that point, and my doctor recommended it, and I tried multiple things and there's nothing I could do, I may consider it. But at this point in my life, no, I feel like there's so much more I can do. And by eating healthy, that it's really not something that needs to be an option for me right now. So no, uh, non-scale goals. Honestly, that's what most of my goals are. I don't really focus on the scale or anything that much. I'm just, I want to live in a way that I feel is honorable to God. And I've always been into health and nutrition. I've always felt called to this. I'm just good at it. It's just natural. I get anatomy, physiology. I'm really good at what I do as a massage therapist and people love me for it. I know all about PT and, you know, what you need to do for your body. And I'm very intuitive. It's just who I am. I've helped a lot of people. And I just want to, I just want to go above and beyond what I ever thought was possible. I am really thinking about um, once I get down to where I want, maybe even doing a bodybuilding competition or just getting really strict in the gym for a while just to see what kind of gains I can get and just really for once just prove where I can get my body to because I like being competitive. That's fun to me. I like challenging myself. So that would be a good challenge. Um, <clears throat> you know, overcoming more of my health goals, uh, not ending up in the hospital for one, that would be super. So there's just a lot of things in my life that um, maybe more of a stay at home mom. I really want to write a book about my life and I also want to write a book on nutrition um, maybe eventually go back to school for something else if I feel like it um, being maybe a mom eventually and just taking care of my home and just living my life the best way I can and help a couple other people realize that they're worth it and that they can do this too that would be my biggest goal it's usually nothing really to do with me most of it um so those are my goals i hope that entertained you a little bit um yeah there's a lot about my health and a lot of stuff i've gone through i mean i missed half of my junior year due to surgery i've been in and out of the hospital since junior high um i've gone through a lot of issues as a child and with my mom obviously and i've learned that it's not worth it to let other people dictate your life and to have joy and that you can have joy in your life no matter what's going on. And, you know, I mean, for me, I've been told I had leukemia. Um, I was going to die. My liver was failing. I was supposed to have a liver transplant. Um, I was supposed to be cut open and had a major surgery. And I was supposed to be on disability when I was 18. I mean, there's a lot I've been through and a lot of people telling me what I can and cannot do and I've proved everybody wrong to this point and I'm just going to keep proving people wrong and just show people that you are, there's so much more in you than you would ever know if you just let yourself try, just try, just see what you're made of and that's what this life is about is just an amazing challenge. Who are you and what are you made of? What do you have to offer this world? And go find it and do it because it's really not worth it to fail or to live 
a mediocre life. It's just not worth it. So if you guys want to know a little bit more about that or a story, whatever, what I've gone through a little bit, happy to do that. Just let me know. Um, if not, that's fine too. I'm here to help you guys and that's my main goal. And one day maybe I will have a little bit more of a stand to put that stuff up. It is my goal in life to share that with people one day. I do want to be a public speaker and um, that is one of my goals. So for now, this is my little YouTube channel and I'm happy to share whatever I can with you guys. So thank you for watching, especially those of you who watched all the way to the end. I know a lot of people don't like to do that and I can tell, but for those of you who did, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to this entire thing. So thank you, and I can't wait to see your video. You are tagged, all of you, and please link it to me if you do do this. I'd love to watch your video and see a little bit about your life.